Hello, stay tuned with Daily News from Marjaya TV. Daily meetings of Gwanda Ayatollah Shibazi. The prominent Shia Islamic jurist Gwanda Ayatollah Shibazi hosts large numbers of religious scholars, seminary teachers and students, religious experts, political figures, civil rights activists, academics and public groups of people on a daily basis at his central office in Holy Kot. In these meetings, the visitors gave reports on their activities and listened to the guidelines and advices of the Grand Jurist. The central office of the Grand Jurist hosts public visitors every day until noon priors. Shias from Kuwait meet Gwanda Ayatollah Shubazi. A group of Shia believers from Kuwait traveled to Holy Kum and met with the Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shubazi at his central office. In this meeting, these Shia listened to statements from the Grand Jurist. Shia Rights Watch condemns anti Shia measures by Algerian government. Shia Rights Watch condemns violent and inhuman treatment by the Algerian government towards its Shia citizens. On their return from the glorious Harbaein pilgrimage in Holy Karbala, Iraq, this condemnation comes in a statement and reads as follows. Shia Rights Watch has received information that the Algerian Shia pilgrims face humiliating as well as arbitrary arrest on their return from the Arba'in annual pilgrimage in Iraq. The statement further reads, This organization believes that sectarian motives are evident in such inhuman treatments. These motives have been for long fueled by tech-free and extremist preachers in different Islamic countries. It should be reminded that the Algerian Shia citizens have only exercised their legal and religious rights, which are recognized and sanctioned by the Algerian Constitution and Human Rights Charters. In other words, the Algerian authorities have violated the civil rights of their citizens and robbed them of their right for freedom of belief. At the end of this statement, as W remarks, Shia Rights Watch demands the Algerian government to respect the legal and religious rights of their Shia citizens and don't let such inhumane actions be repeated. Naturally, these actions will bear no fruits other than division and sedition, and the world would consider such treatments as tyrannical, as suppressive. Activities by Ahlul Bayt Institute in Basra, following the orders of the Grand Ayatollah Shibazi to create a scientific atmosphere for the use, the members and managers of Ahlul Bayt Institute under the supervision of Sheikh Sadiq al Basri, the representative of the Grand Jurist in Basra, visited the educational department of Khairul Jalis in the city and learned about their activities. It is worth noting that Khairul Jalis Educational Department is a charitable foundation in Basra which sponsors the children of the Iraqi mothers and the needy families. Deputy Director of Islamic Action Organization meets political figures. Mr. Hassan al Asadi, the Deputy Director of Islamic Action Organization in Iraq, held meetings with Dr. Hussein Sharvistani, the President of Al Mustakalun Party. This meeting was focused on the political and security issues in Iraq after the victories against the tak groups in this country. In this meeting, which hosted some members of Islamic Action Political Office, both sides talked about the upcoming elections and its procedures. In the end, unity and solidarity of Iraq was emphasized. Furthermore, Mr. Rasadi held meetings with Ms. Hanan al-Fatlawi, a member of the parliament, and the president of al Ibadat movement. Activities by Baghdad Cultural Islamic Center Following the orders of the Grand Ayatollah Shibazi to establish connections with all sectors of the society, delegates from Baghdad Cultural and Islamic Center were dispatched on a mission to visit the regional tribal communities. Mr. Ahmad Ufiya Saadi, the director of Baghdad Cultural and Islamic Center, was personally leading these delegates. In these visits, he honored the historic supports of the tribal communities for the religious leadership in Iraq. Furthermore, Sheikh Fallah Hassarwai, an Iraqi researcher and writer, met with the director of Baghdad Cultural and Islamic Center at this department. In this meeting, both sides discussed solutions to encounter the cultural invasions of the West against the youth in Iraq. Also, a group of young high school students 
met with Mr. Rama Rufia Saadi during a visit to the Islamic Cultural Center of Baghdad. The visiting youth formed a question and answer meeting with the presence of the director of the Islamic Cultural Center in Baghdad. Mr. Rufia Saadi answered the youth question and encouraged them to study the jurisprudential and intellectual books such as the Book of Islamic Law by Grand Ayatollah Shibazi and other religious jurists, the Book of Peshawar Nights and the Shia Beliefs.